Hi. I should have seen that coming. <coughs> Chloe, it was me. Hi, it's been a while. So uh, I figured I would share with you a couple of projects that I've done on the van. Um, one being that basket. Not a huge project, but I put it up and it works amazing. I dig it. Another one is, I don't know if any of you remember, but I had a bicycle basket. Oops, there we go. In this area, I took it out and then put this. It was part of a crate um, that I just cut up and fastened down to keep things there. It gives me a lot more space that way. And I usually I just put my fruits and veggies or bread or something up there. And then miscellaneous things that I don't want flying around the van. Um, <clears throat> so those are better not piled on top of each other. And the basket made me have to do that a bit. And then I had this weird space on either side of it. That was just not very useful. So I am enjoying both of those improvements and there's also a bit more improvement that I will I actually recorded myself doing a bit of um, surprising I know <laughs> but here it is <laughs> so the plan is to remove this nasty carpet and replace it with laminate flooring that way the dog stink is a little bit less what do you say Pip let's get rid of that stink so clearly I can't just do projects and record at the same time because I just thought I got some really good content. I mean, by really good content, I mean like content at all <laughs> of me unscrewing all these things. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't push record. But look, look what color the carpet used to be. <laughs> Not anymore. Ugh, ugh. 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 Gross. Carpet. Carpet is gross. <clears throat> <gasps> I thought I was going to have to buy some laminate, but there's already laminate there. It just has a big slice through. It. Hmm. So can hit the groove there and kind of. So we just went through the carpet and pulled out all the staples so that I wouldn't get stabbed again. Um, or almost stabbed, I didn't actually get stabbed. There's no, there's no blood. There's no tetanus scare. So I was vacuuming up all the dusty stuff and I found a penny. Hard work really does pay off. <laughs> So the plan is to just utilize what I found underneath the carpet, um, which means I don't have to go to the Home Depot and buy new laminate, which is awesome. Less money spent. Um, we're just gonna refinish this and then put some quarter round uh, on the edges here on both sides and probably across the bottom of that. Um, that way it looks nice and if any like liquid does get dropped it doesn't just seep under everything um but this it wasn't going to be an extremely expensive uh project in the first place but now it's like a no money project um granted most of that has to do with the fact that my dad has a garage full of stuff and i'm able to use that instead of um <clears throat> buying anything um but uh 
yeah, I'm excited. I don't look excited. I am though. Uh, I'm just experiencing a lot of allergies and uh, so I feel tired all the time. Um, but yeah, it'll be good to have this project done. So because this wood was hidden under carpet and nobody was ever supposed to see it, it's not the prettiest thing, but since I don't want to buy new wood, I'm going to re uh, work this to make it a little nicer because now it is going to be something that people see. So I'm going to route the top here and make it a little smoother and better looking. Um, and we're going to stain it. Or no, we're going to prime and paint it. Just something to make it so if any kind of spill happens, it's not going to ruin the wood itself. So we got the edge routed. It's nothing dramatic, but it's just enough that it's smoother. So if anybody wraps their ankle on it, it won't be sharp. And then we've got everything primered, ready for paint. It's going to look nice. Got the back panel back on painted all nice check this thing out this helps me get around the corner huh <laughs> it's so cool it helped me get the drill in that far corner over here and over there no problems i want one i need a drill first now for the scary part we're going to nail gun these bits on the lines and i'm afraid of nail guns because there's so much power behind them but we'll get it done. And there it is. No more carpet. Didn't have to buy new flooring. Got some nice little quarter round over here. They didn't fit. The floor's too fun funky over there. So we just did some caulking on the wood. It looks so nice and clean. I am very pleased. Very pleased. And as is my wallet. And here's the last project. I don't have an awning anymore, which is a good thing. It doesn't sound like a good thing, but that thing was trash, wasn't it, Chloe? And now it's not hanging on the side of our rig. Uh, we could never get it down, and definitely could never get it put back together. So, we got rid of it. We've got other plans for that space, huh, Chloe? I just played back that video that I literally just took. And she freaked out again. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Okay, I better just finish recording and edit the rest of the video in a minute so I'm not freaking her out. Maniac. Past the remnant this morning. <laughs> it was for the coast. <laughs> Something remnants of the morning. Past the remnants of the morning, or something. I'm not yeah, great. Past the remnants. Yeah. Past the remnants this morning. Headed west for the coast. I leave get far to know. Follow the trace of. Dancing one more time. 
But a time has come when these moves are intertwined. We dance beneath the sun. Lord knows there's nothing but this world. And the world knows what I've done. Mistaken life with sentiments. No core with trees in a swan. Fire inside, talk of photographs, torn and faded. Half remembered times. I'm not blessed with intuition. I called you because I could.